Live from Legion Field, a blockbuster matchup in week five of the Alliance of American Football. It's the 4-0 Orlando Apollos against the 3-1 Birmingham Iron. As we take a closer look at the standings in the Alliance, you can see there's a log jab in the Western Conference. But take a look at that East. One game separating the Apollos and the Iron. Tight end and back in the backfield. Gilbert walking out of the shotgun. Throws the ball outside to his running back. That's Dearness Johnson. He picks up enough for the first down. Gilbert from under center. Finds a wide open crossing man underneath. And that again is number 83, Scott Orndorff. First and 10 for Gilbert. Down the slot, wide open. Touchdown, Scott Orndorff, and just like that, a picture perfect, a perfect drive for the Apollos to go up 6 nothing. Yeah, really nice job there. Uh, you see the vertical seams, and they, they're able to attack the three deep defense there and get right down the seam. No carry by the linebacker. Great throw under the back shoulder. Quick slant inside to the left side. Looks to be caught, but was he over the intended line? That's Charles Johnson with a catch. Charles, did you catch it? No catch. And as you mentioned, Terrence Garvin did a, does a great job tackling in space. Colton Schmidt with the punt. And that hits an Orlando player scooped up initially by somebody from Birmingham and now Birmingham says they have the ball. Well, the rear air on the first Birmingham player because of the muff punt, we all know you can't advance it. So you just want to recover it. Just recover it. Make sure you come up with the football. They end up fighting for it and getting it back there. Nick Novak on for a 35-yard field goal attempt. And it's just a bit outside. Novak, by the way, who came into this game 7 of 8 on the season. 16. Trent Richardson in the backfield next to Perez. Steps up into the pocket. Heaves it down the left side, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by number 29, Keith Reeser, down the right side, inside the five. Touchdown, Orlando. No flag. That's the third defensive touchdown by the Orlando defense this year. So, again, they're doing a nice job of turning the football over and then making good, putting it in the end zone. Yeah, Keith Reeser, you're going to see him over on the left side of your screen. This is his third interception of the season and his second touchdown. Just a, I think that's a poor throw. You try to fit that throw in there late. I mean, if you're going to do that, you better throw it early. But how about the return by Reeser? Gets some good blocks down the field and finishes it. On the replay, you saw the drape drop eight coverage. They dropped eight defenders back in coverage. Quarterbacks got to understand, you get a little bit more time. Be patient, but if you have to throw it underneath, check it ball down. Three wide receivers right. The quick throw back inside to the tight end. Actually, that's Charles Johnson lined Good up at tight guys. per game, which ranks fourth in the alliance as this time Gilbert pulls the ball out of the stomach, rolls right, and finds Charles Johnson on the right sideline, 2.4 yards per carry on the season. As they keep it on the ground to Richardson, who is eaten up right at the line of scrimmage and drug back. He coughs up the ball, whistles blow. We're going to call that a dead ball. We might get another flag. He threw the ball at the defender. Take another look at this. Coach, it looks to me, he, Trent's going to run the ball out here, but I thought he could have cut it back. See that backside A gap right back there? I thought if he would have pressed it and cut it back, he had some room to run. And you could see, you yeah, could see this, right there, that ball's out. This play's going to be challenged. This ball was pulled out. Whether or not his four. On the field is that the runner's forward progress was stopped. That play is not challengeable. Third and 10 for Gilbert and the Apollos. Throws back to his wide receiver. Again, this time it's Eshmael Hyman. Pitch, counter, and the back to Gilbert, who looks over the middle and finds Johnson on the dig route to about the 10-yard line. A little trickery from the head football coach, Jack Tuncho, makes the play after a 16-yard game. The Steelers, so he's, going, he's earning another opportunity to, to get the play in the NFL. So this is Elliott Fry from 21 yards. A perfect eight for eight on the season, and that one's down the middle. Eight for Price out of the shotgun. 
crossing route wide open. LaDamian Washington out over the line to gain. Picks up 10 yards on the play. First and 10 for Price. Finds the seam route wide open. That's Wex, uh, Wes Saxton, the tight end, who led the team a week ago with three catches for 54 yards. Perkins in the backfield. Price out of the shotgun. He'll break it past the 30 and take it down to about the 25-yard line. A pickup of 11 on the play for Will Hill forces him out. Beavers on the field. So it's second and 10 now. Play clock down to one. Price from the shotgun. Throws a laser inside to number 17, LaDamian Washington. He takes it down about 21 yards on the play before Will Hill makes the play. He lines up in the deep eye formation. Hand it off, and just like that, he walks into the end zone. His eighth rushing touchdown of the season, and Birmingham's on the board. Birmingham shows why they're leading the alliance in red zone offense. Going to get a couple of double teams inside here. Looks like the right guard and right tackle is going to power that three technique back in the end zone. You know, one saying you had as an offensive lineman, if you put your guy's feet in the end zone, you're going to score. They did a good job right there. So Orlando takes over to 25. Gilbert out of the shotgun. Throwback screen to number 22, Dearness Johnson. Breaks a couple of tackles out past the 40 and down to about the 44-yard line. Green 10, green second 10. and 10. Gilbert out to the outside. Third and two, Gilbert hands the football off inside to Johnson, who breaks a tackle out to the right side, to the 30, the 25, inside the 20. He gets out at about the 18-yard line. It's Aaron Adeye, uh, Adeoye who comes up with the tackle, a gain of 36 on the play. Looks like Ryan White, number 22, is going to come in on the tackle. And I think these defenders collide. They kind of they hit him at the same time. An injured player during the play. Yeah, under two minutes, they will be charged their first time out of the half. Well, really, again, number 22, Ryan White, the nickel player. You got to come in and make that tackle. Gilbert dumps it down underneath to Johnson, who again breaking tackles takes it. Past the line to gain, a pickup of about 11 yards before defensive lineman Jeremy Falk. Defenders and really Gilbert had nowhere to go with the ball. It, it was exactly the same play as the two-point play they scored on earlier. Fry, who was good earlier from 21, good this time from 22 yards. Kid O'Brien, who had been evaluated in the first half, the center is back in at center, although they have lost the right guard, Corin Kirvin. Price dumps the ball underneath to Trent Richardson, who hunts down one of the defensive backs. Beavers right. Fred Richardson in the backfield with Price. Price over the middle and finds his tight end. That's Sexton with a catch. A pickup of 17 against Will Hill. Garrett, plenty of time. Looks down the field and finds his number one target, Charles Johnson. Who... Out of the shotgun. Price flushed from the pocket. Throws the ball back over the middle. Finds his tight end again. That's Saxton across the 35-yard line. He used to working with the guy next to you. Brandon Ross in the game in the backfield with Price. Two wide receivers to the right. Avoids pressure. Gets out of the pocket to the right side and finds a wide open wide receiver. That's the running back. Brandon Ross. Touchdown, Iron. Brandon Ross, I mean, he's one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. And, Coach, this is what I'm talking about. He's going to run right here and then cut it back across the field. And when your quarterback can buy time like this, look at the linebacker. I mean, Winthrop, he slips. Now, all of a sudden, he's wide open. They're in a pressure there. Look like a zone pressure with the left side guy that's responsible for number two on the left side or two weak. He's Birmingham team within six points. We need this iron defense to step up as they fake the reverse. That's Davion Smith to the right side. And finally, still on his feet to the 40 and out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. Sylvie rides him out of bounds. Pick up a 40 yards on the play. I love the double reverse right here. Down block, 
Right there, and the bright guard's gonna sneak out. Trey Jackson, watch him lead this play as he fakes the reverse right there. And look at this, he's got two big elephants right in front. This football game. Elliott Fry now on for a 27-yard field goal attempt. And that's right down the middle. Ten. Seven. Tight wing to the right side. They hand it off to Smith over the left to works out of the shotgun. Second and five. He looks at the seam and finds his tight end. They're doing it with chunk plays. Green too, ten, green ten. Seven. Of possession relatively close. Second and six. The ball up in the air to Charles Johnson. Touchdown, Apollos. Talk about pitch and catch. Jamar Summers in coverage there, but doesn't get much easier than that between those two. No, again, a, a very fine throw by quarterback Garrett Gilbert. Great separation by wide receiver Charles Johnson. Oh, boy, he got away with a little bit of a... Green 10, green 10. Set up. Johnson in the backfield. Gilbert out of the shotgun. Throws it over the middle and finds Jalen Marshall. In the back of the end zone, two-point conversion good. Makes it 31 to 14. These receivers. Price out of the shotgun on fourth and 10. Works the ball to the left side. It has as a receiver Tobias Palmer, but did he come up short? I think he's going to be short, Mark. Price works out of the shotgun into his own end zone, under pressure, finally dumps it down to the running back. Trent Richardson breaks the tackle. Spurrier found a quarterback like Garrett Gilbert, was able to coach him up like this so well in such a short period of time. It, it, you know, the process of coaching him up, that hasn't surprised me. He's, his quarterback's always been productive players. He has just a knack in a way. Garrett Gilbert talked about that in our, in our conference with him. Of, you know, him being in the quarterback room. Coach Spurrier lit up when he talked about being in the quarterback room. Good luck to y'all, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I've been impressed. Two weeks in a row now. They've gone on the road. They battled the conditions last Snow. week. Good luck, Snow. Guys. Obviously, weather not a factor here, but number one defense in the league. And I tell you what. They put up that 30 burger I was talking about, Coach. You hungry yet? It. They got it. I got it now in Birmingham. Got a 30 burger. The final 31 14. We'll step aside. We'll come back and wrap things up from the booth here as the Orlando stay undefeated 5 0.